Hello guys, this is Matrix Ray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p versus native PS2. I'll also be doing some frame rate testing and show you guys the best settings for Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. We are using large frame buffer, 2560x1440p native, 16 times anisotropic filtering, mip mapping is off, full directory recommended is on, advanced settings, we've got everything turned off here. Shader configuration, texture filtering of display is on, FX AA shader is on, and we um, have MTVU turned on as well. Now, all Sly Cooper games need MTVU, um, which is, you know, obviously uh, unfortunate for people that don't have more than three cores. I have six cores, so it doesn't bother me. Also, real quick, I forgot to mention. All Sly Cooper games have broken up scaling, and as you see, Bob TFF is the interlacing mode you need to have on. I'll show you where that is, actually, real quick. But um, so it's not really native 1440p, but it's going to be a clear comparison compared to the native PS2. As you see, all Sly Cooper games need Bob TFF, which is unfortunate, and do not allow, do not use allow 8-bit texture because that causes a major slowdown as well. I'm not sure why it just does. Alright, let's have a look at the dimensions. This game targets 512 by 448 Very mainstream resolution back then. I am using the NTSC version, so resolutions do, uh, you know, change up on the PAL compared to the NTSC. Now, as you see, there's a lot of slowdown. It's very blurry, and there's a load of aliasing on the screen on native PS2. Uh, let's have a look at native 1440p real quick. Well, it's not really native, we'll just say it for now. But as you see, this is the supposed native 1440p. Um, as I said, I have to use Bob TFF to to fix it up. If I flick through these other ones, as you see, that it gets blurrier, it starts shaking, and um, it's, there's a few scan lines on that one right there. But when I click on this one, as you see, it's a little bit better than the rest of them. Keep in mind, you're using Bob TFF uh, while watching FMVs do cause shakiness. You'll see the screen just keeps shaking. But other than that, that's about it. Also, the HUD, as you see in the top left corner of the screen, is also kind of broken. It's that's quite normal for uh, slide two and three on the PTSX2. This game does target 60 frames as well. So, as you see, there is a bit of slowdown on hardware mode as well, but it seems to run quite nice a lot of the time. Let's use this one. Yeah. So, um, there we go. Alpha effects can cause slowdown as well on this game, but that depends on on what missions you are doing. Let's have another look at native PS2. There we go. Native PS2 doesn't suffer the uh, blurriness, the broken up scale like the hardware mode version does. Um, all the pixels are still there, it's just that it, um, it's all smudged and does not display the correct um, um, pixels that we want, uh, that we set there. Here we go. So it's quite slow unfortunately, and it's yeah very blurry as well. We'll go back to um, this resolution, as you see, faster and also more, more clearer. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. See you guys later.